Hello, hello, what's going on guys? It's your boy Rashad5000 or Rashad if you prefer. And today I bring you some team deathmatch on Call of Duty 4. It's on the map district and the setup I was using was the P90 Silence along with the Gold Desert Eagle as my secondary. And my perks were Bandolier, Stopping Power, and Extreme Conditioning. And unlike Modern for 2, Call of Duty 4 does not have custom model kill streaks, which is a really good, it's a big plus. Because we all know within Modern for 2 to get a very high score and stuff like that, you uh, it basically comes out to uh, who has the better air support. So, which is really good. Nah, that's why I like Call of Duty 4 better than Modern for 2. But anyways, besides from that, I kind of want to use this video to uh, talk about um, E3, give you guys my post E3 thoughts. We are three days removed from E3, and um, probably as um, when when this gets uploaded, will be four days removed because as I record this commentary, uh, it's June 20th, so this will probably be uploaded tomorrow, June 21st. But uh, I want to use this video to give my E3 thoughts on uh, what I thought about Microsoft, Nintendo's, and Sony's, and uh, what they unveiled and, and showed and stuff like that. So uh, I'll start off by talking about Microsoft and just say that I, like their whole conference, I really was not impressed. I mean, it just seems to me, you know, well, let's, well I'll say this. They, they started off their conference by showing Call of Duty, which figures because it, when it comes, you know, when it comes down to it, Microsoft, I mean, that's all they hang to. Is um you know their content that they get from Activision within uh, the Call of Duty series, and uh, they start off the series. Uh, they start off they start off their press conference by showing um, Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, it looks pretty good. You know, I, obviously I'm going to be getting it, but I mean, we don't want to see that. I mean, all the people in the audience they don't want to see new games. You know, we don't want to see Call of Duty. You know. And uh, and then you know after they showed their little single player campaign of Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, Don Matcher, the president of Microsoft, he comes out and he, he announces an exclusive like three year deal with Activision to uh, for exclusive you know content from Activision regarding Call of Duty for the next three years. Any uh, content that uh, is released for Call of Duty is going to go to Xbox 360 first. Which uh, you know, I could really care less about that about some exclusive content, so like that. I mean, you know, I'm there to see games. I'm watching to see games, and um, they weren't showing it. So, I mean, I could care less about that. And then um, basically, you know, the next recognizable thing that they had was uh, showing their Connect. Um, basically, I wasn't impressed by that either because it seems to me like with Connect, they're trying to appeal more to the casual gamer than anything. I mean, they had the guy out there, you know showing him using zoom and stuff like that and uh, and all this other stuff i mean i could care less about that you know show show us show us using connect show us what using um connect would be like with a with a video game you know i mean that's basically you know what we're watching for the hawker game which is basically you know who makes up uh most of your um console base so show us you know some some games you know that's what we're watching for and um you know, basically, I just wasn't impressed by Connect. You know, I, but who knows? It maybe, maybe it'll, maybe it'll sell. You know, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, in the future, and uh, basically, you're probably the last thing that was recognizable was that they unveiled the new Xbox 360 slam, which looks pretty good. And uh, look for all the people who were in the audience at the Microsoft conference. They uh, they all got free Xbox 360s of the uh, newer version Xbox 360. So that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, that's probably it about Microsoft. I'll just say I just was not impressed. Now, on to Nintendo. I just say uh, they really outdid themselves this year compared to last year's. Um, I had to say they, uh, they they took away, they blew away the competition, Sony and uh, Microsoft. I mean, they showed all these games. They were appealing to the hardcore gamer. I mean, they showed all these games. Like uh, Zelda, they showed uh, Donkey Kong Country, a new Super Mario, which looks pretty cool. Um, what else they should double double seven golden eye, which is really good back on the N64. I love that game. Um, they showed Golden Sun. If any of you guys ever played that on Game Boy Advance, you'll know that it was a pretty fun game. It's really good. I really you know like those type of games like RPGs or whatever. Um, I'm really into those, so it looks pretty good. So that's gonna be coming to Nintendo Wii. Um 
I think I'm going as far as recognizable games. I think that's all they showed, and then they showed the Nintendo 3DS, which looks really cool. And unlike Sony, you don't have to have those glasses to see uh, to play the games in 3D. Um, they it looks really good. Like basically, you know, with Nintendo's conference, they made me want to go out and buy a Nintendo Wii right then and there. I mean, their 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 lineup of games looks really good. I mean, it's ridiculous, people. Um, for all you Wii fans out there. Or people who dislike the Wii, just go watch Nintendo's conference. You will be amazed by what they showed. Uh, it's really cool, very interactive system, and um, I'm even thinking about going out and buying Nintendo Wii myself. So overall, good conference for Nintendo. Now, for the last bit of this video here, I want to talk about Sony. Um, you know, it was a really good conference. They 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 had their high moments and they had their low moments. Um, they showed uh, some Killzone 3 game, gameplay. That, get, that game's obviously going to be good. But, uh, just look at Killzone 2. can only get better from here. And it, it was still in its pre-alpha stages and stuff like that. So um, I'm pretty sure Killzone 3 is going to be good. And I look forward to it when it comes out. I'm definitely going to pick it up. Um, what else did they show? I think they showed like a trailer of Infamous 2. Um, as far as recognizable games, they showed a uh, little bit Planet 2. That was a very good platformer. Uh, the online play for that game is really fun, especially when you're playing with friends and stuff like that. It's really fun, so I'll definitely be picking that up when it comes out next year, I believe. I think it comes out next year or this year. I'm not sure. And um, PlayStation Move, uh, I'll definitely be picking that up when it comes out in September. Uh, any PlayStation fans out there, uh, definitely consider getting that. It's going to be pretty good. It looks really good. And they also unveiled their premium service. Now, for any guys who are unsure what the premium service is, um, it basically, you know, it's going to give you full PSN titles and stuff like that. But I'm out of time here. I'll talk about it more in my next video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments. Rate the video, please. And uh, just give me your feedback. on. Tell me, tell me what you thought about E3. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Peace.